like controller, controller. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sonali, if you guys don't already know me. And today, I'm going to be doing a simple bronze makeup look. A lot of you have been requesting more simple looks, so I wanted to do this little everyday bronze makeup tutorial. I've been doing it a lot recently, and I'm using some new products here and there, so it won't be repetitive, I hope. This look is super easy to achieve, and if you want to learn how to do it, then keep on watching. Good morning, guys. It is 8.48 in the morning on July 12th. I'm just getting ready to have breakfast with one of my friends and she's actually starting a YouTube channel so that's really cool. And we're just going to talk about vlogs and YouTubing so I'm really glad to have someone in my area to talk about those things with. I will link her blog and her YouTube channel down below. First I'm starting out with the 5-in-1 face cream. It is from First Aid Beauty and I'm just using this because I love the look it gives me. It makes my skin like look like it's like shiny it's like glowing let's address the elephant in the room yes i had a zit and i popped it a little too early as you can tell i'm scarred literally <laughs> it sucks but i know it'll heal soon enough so i'm not really worried about it next i'm going to be taking the professional and i had a little sample of this so i started to use it and i fell in love with this like i don't know why i haven't been using it all this time and I know I used to say the Maybelline one was a dupe for this, which I mean, it wasn't bad and I still probably would use it if I, I had it, but I just think this fills in your pores so much better. You instantly see your pores like gone. You like don't even see it. So I start off with the nose and then just spread it onto my cheeks, my forehead. Next, I'm going to be using my favorite foundation ever. I just got a refill for this and... I couldn't be happier because, oh shit, do you see that? I'm literally almost out, like that is like the end. I got the refill for perfect timing because I would have been so upset if I didn't have more of this foundation around. The thing I love about this foundation is it's very full coverage, but it's also buildable because when I don't have concealer around, I'll just go over any blemishes and it'll hide it so well. I'm going to be going in with my concealer. This is the Makeup Forever Full Cover Concealer and it does seem a little bit darker, but luckily I'm going to highlight and contour on my nose. So this is just for another layer, not really color. Then I'm just going to take my concealer brush and pat it in. Then I'm also taking my beauty blender and dabbing that into my skin to blend out really well and blend the colors together because it is a tad bit darker than my foundation. So my scar, you can't really tell. I mean, maybe like a little if you're looking, but I hit it pretty well. So now we're going to move on to concealer slash highlighter. This is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. It is the best concealer ever. If you don't have it, if you've never tried it out, please go do yourself a favor and go to Sephora and do so. So this morning I was in bed and I came across a Facebook video of Jake and Peyton's wedding. If you guys don't know who they are, Jake Gaines was a UGA football player for the last year, I think. And he proposed to his girlfriend on UGA's field after a game. And after that, they like went viral. And honestly, they're so cute, literally goals. Please just go and check out their Instagrams. It's Peyton Thomas and Jake Gaines, I think. and. Seriously, you'll fall in love. He was in my bed crying this morning. <laughs> I'm just using a beauty blender to blend the concealer out. I use my beauty blender dry most of the time because first of all, I'm too lazy to get it wet. And second of all, I think it does a pretty good job dry, but it also does an amazing job when it's wet, but I don't do my makeup in the bathroom, so it's just so inconvenient for me when I have to wet it. I am going to bake because it just looks so much better when I do. I slept with my window open last night because I wanted like the sunlight to come through my room in the morning. And honestly, it was the best decision ever because I just felt so much better when I woke up. So I feel like I should do that every night, but I also don't want to like feel like I'm getting stared at in my sleep. <laughs> so I'm not really gonna let this baking sit. I'm just gonna like press it into my skin wherever it needs it. I like to set my face before I go on to powder products because I'm going to be doing bronzer and blush next. 
Next, I'm going to be taking one of my newest bronzers. This is the Soleil Baked Bronzer by Milani. It is gorgeous. The packaging is everything. So I'm just taking it on a big fluffy brush and I'm just going to try to like pinch the brush a little and go in my contour hollow. This bronzer actually does have some shimmer to it, so this will definitely add to a little bit of a highlight. I really love this bronzer because it doesn't make me look extremely contoured, but it does make me look really bronzed and not a potato head, if you know what I mean. Like, it gives my face some shape to it. And I feel like this is just such a good minimal product because you can put this on and get away with it without blush or anything. And you could really just stop here, but I'm just going to keep going because why not? Just a little more. Next, we're going to do blush. This is from L'Oreal, and it's in the color Apricot Kiss. I love this blush because I feel like you can never really go too overboard with it just because it's so light and corally, and it's not such a harsh color. Next, I'm going to go in with a highlighter. This is my newest highlighter. It is the Gilded Honey from Laura Geller, and it is so pretty. This is by far one of my favorite highlighters that I own. One trick for you guys when putting on highlighter is to get a brush and some spray. This is Urban Decay's All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. You can also use Max Fix Plus. It's just whatever you got at home. All you have to do is just spray the brush and then just dip it into the highlighter and go ham. And it goes on so nicely. Another way you can do this is spray your whole face and then put on the highlighter. I just like to do it this way. It is so pretty, guys. I've never felt this way about a highlighter before. I love nose highlight. Oh my god, I forgot to contour. Hold up. I'm just taking my Hula bronzer for this contour. And I'm just taking the bare minimum product because you don't want to mess up your nose and make it look too muddy. So I'm going to do my brows and mascara off camera, so I'll be right back. So my brows are done, my mascara is done. Now lips is the last thing. I'm gonna take my lip scrub from Glam Glow and just scrub my lips because they look crusty. I think there's like a little bit of a plumper in that scrub because I feel like my lips look so much bigger after I do it. Then I'm just gonna put this EOS balm all over my lips to moisturize it. Like, look how much bigger they look. It's crazy, but I wish they stayed like this all day. That'd be really nice. <laughs> the last product I'm going to be using in this tutorial is the MAC Touch Lipstick. And it is just kind of like a brown. It's kind of sheer, so it goes along with this bronzy makeup look. This is the finished makeup look. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. It was kind of short, but I know some of you like the simple looks. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys!